Hello and welcome to Bite Sized MRCP, a manageable way to digest the things that you need to know for your MRCP exam. We are two junior doctors based in the UK who have passed all three parts of MRCP within the last five years and want to help you do the same. We are not associated with any MRCP examination organisations and the materials covered are by no means an exhaustive list of what can come up in your exam or indeed medical advice. Please refer to your college of entry or your friendly supervisor for further questions regarding the exam and syllabus. If you like the sound of what you hear today and would like to join us for more bite-sized revision, give us a thumbs up and press the subscribe button. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's topic, which is Coxiella Bonetti or Q fever. Coxiella Bonetti infections are reported globally and they spread through cattle, sheep and goats, which are the main animal reservoirs. The spread is via aerosolized particles from these infected animals. Coxiella Bonetti is a zoonotic infection and the risk factors are particularly people who work in farming, veterinary medicine and those who work in abattoirs. It's important to also note, particularly for question vignettes, that Coxiella Bonetti may also be used as a bioterrorism agent. The acute infection has an incubation period of 7 to 30 days, so quite a long potential incubation period being up to a month, although it can be as short as one week. It comprises influenza-like symptoms and can lead to pneumonia as well as hepatitis. The chronic infection is 1 to 18 months after acute infection and comprises manifestations such as endocarditis, hepatitis, meningoencephalitis and osteomyelitis. The diagnosis of whether this is an acute or a chronic infection is differentiated based on the presence of antibodies, but it's important to remember that titers may take a month to develop. PCR has a relatively poor sensitivity and specificity, and the white cell count is usually normal or slightly elevated. Patients may have a mild transaminitis. The management of acute Coxiella Bonetti infection is doxycycline for two weeks at 200 milligrams daily, although the alternative are quinolones. Chronic infection should be treated with 18 months of doxycycline combined with chloroquine or rifampicin or ciprofloxacin. Right, so let's try a question. A 45-year-old farmer presents with a two-week history of high fever, severe headache, myalgia and a dry cough. He reports recent exposure to cattle and sheep during birthing season. Laboratory tests reveal elevated liver enzymes and mild thrombocytopenia. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial treatment? So our options are amoxicillin, ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, azithromycin or metronidazole. So you will recall from this video that the correct answer is doxycycline for the treatment of Coxiella bonetti, which this certainly seems to be in this vignette, given all of the symptoms and the time frame of two weeks. Thank you for listening to this episode of Bite Sized MRCP. If you like what you've heard today, give us a thumbs up and hit the like and subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss our next episode. Let us know in the comments which topics you would like to hear in future. See you in our next episode.